senior seminar uh, is a class that I'm pretty sure has been taught for a lot of years in a lot of different forms, but kind of the foundation of it is um, philosophy, but like with a, a theme for every year, and this year was uh, justice. I think one of the main point is that we don't learn explicitly what justice is based off of what Jamie and Elise, the teachers, think it is, but rather we learn it based off of different perspectives um, presented to us by different philosophers. Um, so very different thinkers from very different times in the history will teach us what they thought uh, true justice was, and from that we can sculpt our own understanding of it. And each class is built around a series of seminal questions. So those are the questions that students are asked to think about. Um, they're big questions and questions without clear answers. So questions like, is goodness a historical construct? Or how do we construct a notion of self? There is a group of reading and a group of core ideas that we want to make sure that students understand. Um, and they are the ones that we feel are the most likely that they're going to encounter in, in the college level. So we always make sure they understand Plato, we always make sure they understand Kant and Hegel and Nietzsche and Marx. They have a process of writing and rewriting. So they give us a paper at the beginning and then they will rewrite that in substantial ways two more times until I finally get to that final result. Class culminates in the oral defense panel where each student submits their final paper to a group of four individuals, to the two of us, one other adult from this community of their choice, and then one other adult who might be from the friend school community but might also be a neighbor, a parent, a friend, one of the professors who has guest lectured in the class. This class is a place where everyone can, can really be pushed to to the limit of their capability of understanding and that every student is pushing every other student. I've had a lot of discussions with other students and just like, I've had other people just straight up disagree with what I've said and I've straight up disagreed with what some other people have said and so I think that it's where, it's a place where all of us can really push each other to, to get into the material more and like by the end of this class, by the time my panel was coming around, I couldn't get through a conversation without being like, oh, it's like Rawls or like, oh man, that's so, that's so Kantian. I think when I decided to take this class, I thought it was going to be, I thought I was going to learn a lot of interesting things that I could think about more theoretically, but it wouldn't actually change my perception on things in daily life. Um, but like, for instance, I looked out the window this morning and I saw the birds eating and there was like a mockingjay that was trying to keep all the other birds from eating. I was like, hob state of nature. <laughs> and, I, and it's not just with something like that. I mean, it, it changes my thinking on social media, um, on just everyday classes. We spent an overnight talking about everything that we had learned thus far in the two trimesters. And we went from the beginning all the way to the very end in one night. And it really sort of gave me this, this big picture idea of, of everything that I'd done in, in this, these few months. And then to be able to sit in front of my parents, sit in front of people that I had put on a panel, sit in front of Jamie Elise, the teachers, and really sort of state what I knew and state what I had come to understand was incredible. So this class is one of the very few classes that gives you the opportunity to really explore your own ideas and really think about what you think. And the panel is especially important for that and is able to like broaden your horizons of learning. And I think that's really important for going off to college or even in life. My basic argument at, at the heart of my paper is that justice in a society is determined by a correlation between the will of the people and the laws of the society. And the more that is correlated and the more the will of the people is reflected in the laws, uh, the more justice, the more just the society is. And the product of that form of justice is an optimization of the self-determination for each individual in the society. It really pushed beyond what I had the most trouble with, which was initially this nebulous, very sort of vague, like theoretical idea and, and bring it into the real world and into the real life. And that was actually, those were the questions that I found most difficult in my panel were the ones where the panelists said, 
okay, but I've heard this coming from a Republican at Civitas, and what does that mean to you, and how do you, how do you combat that? Or corporations don't have morality, they're inhuman. What is, how does your importance, your stress on morality translate to the fact that corporations hold a lot of power? Is everything that's going on in our daily lives around us that we don't necessarily think about in terms of sort of these big philosophical ideas. This class in general has been one of the most wonderfully challenging experiences that I've ever had in terms of stretching the way that I that I'm capable of thinking. How this class is most different from every other class I've taken uh, so far is uh, just that so much of it had to come from me like in in like math or something I'm learning things I'm I'm just memorizing things I'm understanding things and in this class we have that too but then I had to contribute so much to this class but that was a really I think important experience for me to have